Right, good morning, what a morning we have here at Cardrona. Today we're going to talk about bunker play. I'm going to show you a simple drill on how to get out the bunkers easier and make this angle of attack a lot easier with your bunker play. Um, but first we need to get on this golf course. Find a bunker somewhere. So we found the bunker, ball's here, flag's there, let's play some bunker shots. So in order for me to play a good bunker shot, I have to make sure that my angle of attack is shallow. I don't want the club coming too steep because then I'm just going to dig straight down into the sand. When we dig straight down into the sand we lose elevation so the club has to come in shallow to the ground using the bounce of the club so we'll take a fine layer of sand and away goes the ball. The shot I've got here is quite a long bunker shot so therefore I have to make sure I'm really shallow to make sure I can get the ball up and away. So I set myself up with my face slightly open, the more I open the face the more it sits on the bounce, I lower my hand slightly as well, again to make sure it sits on the back of the golf club, but really this drill is all about trying to sort out your angle of attack, making sure we don't come down too steep and into the sand deeply, we want to just take a fine layer of sand off the top and play the shot from there, that's how we're going to get the ball up, if you struggle to get elevation in your bunker shots the angle of attack needs to be shallow. For this drill you're going to need one of these. It's a golf tee, they're available in most pro shops. Pretty good idea. So I'm going to tee my ball up. I'm going to push the tee in just until it's at the level of the sand. So my ball is now sitting on a tee. Pretty much level with the top of the sand the tee is. Oh. And then from there my concept now is to make sure I understand the feeling of hitting the sand first but I just want to pop the top off the tee. I don't want to come down and kill the tee, I want to just try and clip the top off the tee. So really just try and nick, nick the head off the top of the golf tee. So my ball's teed up, I know the tee is just under the level of the sand, I've opened the face slightly, and my object here is to come down, get the feeling of scratching the sand first, yet I'm just almost like striking the match, just trying to strike the top off that golf tee. So the angle of attack's nice and shallow, shallow meaning low to the ground for longer, and not coming down steeply. So more of a U-shaped swing instead of a V-shaped swing. There, so I'm just thinking, okay, in here, let's just get the top off that tee, which is under the ball there. Up and away. So good elevation. Fantastic. Just nick the top off the tee. There it is. And you'll see there, it's just the top part of the tee that's come off there. I've not dug right down to the bottom. That was good. Again, teeing the ball up, putting the level of the top of the tee just in line with the depth of this level of the sand. Lined up, open face, and just striking the match, shallow angle of attack, nicking the top off that tee. Like so. That one there was a little bit deeper because more of the tee came out. I can see I've struck in there. Let's try one more. I need to get more shallow on this. It's a good thing about these drills when you've got something to gauge it against. You can see what sort of situation the tee's in after you've played the shot. Have I come down too steep? Did on the last one. Ball didn't go as far. I could see I could took more sand. This time I need to make sure I'm shallowed. Much more U-shape angle of attack. Shallow. Good. Setup's good. Open face and striking the match, nice shallow and give attack, club low to the ground for a long time. Okay, nick the top off the tee. Angle of attack was shallow, ball was up and away, it was brilliant. Now we get rid of the tees. Place the ball in the bunker, and then we need to try and recreate that feeling. Recreate the shallow, just taking a skim of sand off the top. Visualising the tees underneath. There we go, got the ball up, nice shallow angle of attack. Again, visualising the tees underneath, so 
recreating the drill, even though the T's not there. I'm trying to recreate that motion. Again, good. It's a long bunker shot. To be fair, this bunker is frozen and I have got, I don't know if you can see the flag there, I have got like 30, probably actually about 50 yard bunker shots. It's a tricky one. Guys, I hope that helps. That is just, just nick the top off that tee, strike that match, just get a little shallow angle of attack. We don't have to dig deep from bunker shots. The deeper we dig, the less chance that we've got of getting elevation to get the ball up there. Let's go and play a few more holes. Guys, thanks for watching. I bring content to this channel similar to this every week, um, sometimes twice a week to try and make people better at golf. The better people are at golf, the more chance there is of um, maintaining membership. So retention of membership will stay up, people will be more interested in the game. And that's the reason I do it. Um, so please subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already. Also hit the little bell notification, that will give you instant notification of all my videos once they're published. And hit the little thumbs up button, it's much appreciated. Thank you very much. Yeah.